What's good, man? It's your man, Dr. BOA. Somebody sent me something, man, uh, a picture of Steve Harvey and his old lady, Marjorie. And she had on a see-through, I'm talking about a sheer see-through dress from top to bottom. And you can see her nipples and everything, man. And he's just out with his woman like this, man. And Hey, listen, however you want your woman to express herself, cool, do your thing, bro. But this woman is 57 years old. They've been married for 14 years, which means that Steve finally got the woman of his dreams when she was 43 years old. Beyond the wall. Beyond the carousel ride. She had her fun and came back to the man who viewed her as the one. So when you see a man being comfortable with his grandma-aged wife being out showcasing herself like that, he doesn't see her like we see her. In Steve Harvey's eyes, she's still that same little young bad chick that ran with all the D-boys that he could never get because he ain't never had no paper and he ain't had no reputation and he ain't had no edge. But see, what happens is those guys who don't have all of that young they're grinding and building and grooming themselves and growing into the man they're going to be. And when they get to that age where that woman is 40, she looks around and she sees that all of those D-boy guys, all of those younger guys who were getting when they were young, they all either dead, locked up, or they're out free, but they're destitute. Some are even homeless. So when you turn back around and you see Steve with his woman, he finally got a chance to get the girl. Now, fortunately for him, it didn't turn out the way it turns out for a lot of guys. A lot of guys finally get the girl, and she's shot by that point. She's nothing to look at. She's none of that. You have to envision her as she used to be. You have to close your eyes, click your heels three times, and hope that you end up in Oz where anything is possible. But with Steve, to Margie's credit, she has done a phenomenal job of keeping herself together. I will give her that. For a 57-year-old woman, she has done well and kept herself looking pretty good to be a 57-year-old woman. So I'm going to be honest with you. She didn't even look bad in the dress. It's just the fact that this woman is 57 years old. And now I, I believe in the whole thing, if you got it, flaunt it. But it gets to a certain point where you just overcome the need to do that. You know what I'm saying? If you watch a man in his 20s with money, He's going to react a certain way to it and he's going to perform a certain way and showcase it a different way than the man who's in his 40s with the money. Unless that man just got money in his 40s. But if that man has had money in his 20s, by the time he gets to 40, you can give him 10 times the money he had when he was 20 and he's still not going to floss and flex like he did when he was 20. So what she's doing is something that should be done by a much older woman. But what y'all have to understand is just having the woman isn't enough. Steve needs to see the woman in her glory. He needs to see the woman at her best. So he needs to see her in the way that he used to see her when she was young and she was running with the D-boys and they had her draped up and dripped out and she would come down and maybe the Daisy Dukes or come down with a halter top or come down with the, with the short shorts with the bikini top on and, you know, and just look amazing all the time. So that's why he wants to go out and showcase her the way he never could, the way he envisioned himself doing when she was young and the D-boys had her. Now he finally got the girl and he like, wait a minute, I got the girl, I got the money, I'm finna live the fantasy that I always had of this woman. So fortunately for Steve, he can do that. So people, even me, got to stop giving Steve a hard time about doing this because the man is really, this is his younger self living vicariously through his older self. This is a fantasy he had of this woman. He wanted to be with this woman when she was in her prime, but he couldn't. But he got her. He affords her the luxury of having to do nothing but look good, work out, eat good, and keep herself as beautiful as she possibly can. And he'll give her the world because he always wanted to be the one to give her the world. You got to understand, and I know some of you guys have experienced this already. For Steve, Margie is the one. She's always been his one. You know how they say, there ain't no one woman. Well, for Steve, Margie is the one. 
She ain't got to worry about Steve cheating on her. She ain't got to worry about Steve disrespecting her. She ain't got to worry about Steve doing none of that. Steve got his queen, man, and he going to showcase her however he want to. In the picture, if you watch in the caption, he said, huh, your fine ass is my wife. I'm good. So in his mind, at his age, she looks good enough where he can marry the truth of who she is with the fantasy of who she was and put those two together. So what we see from her, I'm even looking at her saying the woman don't look bad to be her age. Steve looking at her and she still look like she's 25. Y'all got to understand the psychological edge of having a woman be that soul tie, that, that Jezebel energy grabbing a hold of you. You got to understand that now Steve is the only option she has to live that life. No young man with money is going to have a woman 57. And if he did have a woman 57, he don't want her to be out like that because the one thing that a young man can do is fantasize that she is 25. To him, she's 57. And when he think about it and realize that this woman is older than my mama, I don't want to see her out like that. I'm not going to be out with her like that. But with Steve... It's a good look for Steve because Steve is untouchable by the average person. Steve lives a lifestyle where the average person can't run up on him and say, man, why you got your brow down like that, Steve? They can't run up on him and Jones and crack jokes on him. He moving, he moving as a as a as a, a multimillionaire, you know, a hundred times over, like he's moving a certain way. So what we're going to do, man, we're going to let that man live his fantasy, man. You know what I'm saying? It wouldn't be me. Hopefully, I don't never get so caught up on a brown man where I can't see the truth of who she is and accept her for the truth of who she is because I have such a fantasy of having her when I couldn't have her. But now all Steve is doing is living the life he wished he could have always lived with this woman, man. And he got to deal with the backlash of that because I'm going to be honest with you. I think it's fairly disrespectful for a 57-year-old woman to be out with her nipples out. I'm like, damn. But here's the thing also. I can say that, you can say that, anyone can say that, but that's all Marjorie has to offer. All she has is her physicality. Steve knew that. That's why he ain't got no problem with blowing a bag on her. He ain't got no problem with all the children move out. He buy an even bigger house for her. He'll get that woman whatever she wants. I'm telling you, he always wanted to give her whatever she wants. He is the equivalent of what Dr. Dre was with Nicole Young when he took her from Sedell 3. When she was Nicole 3, he took her. He said, T I want to take care of you forever. And as we all know, he's taking care of her forever. He's going to take care of her forever. When he's dead and gone, if she's still here, he's still going to be taking care of her. But that's what we have with Steve. It doesn't matter that the woman was with one man, and when that man went down, she got with his cousin. That don't matter to Steve. There is nothing that woman could have possibly done that was going to er eliminate or erase Steve's need to have her as his queen. And now Steve has built this fantastic kingdom. One thing you can't knock the man for is his hustle, his grind, his determination. That man going to shine. He going to do his thing, man. But you also got to keep in mind that that man had his eyes set on the prize as far as women go, and this woman was that prize. So talk as we may. Make fun of him as we may. Chastise him as we may. Steve don't care. The one thing you can never do is bring a man down when he's living in a fantasy world. A man who's living in a fantasy world don't even hear you because he's living in a world that you're not privy to. you living in the real world. He's in fantasy land. Steve has created Wonderland. And simply went and got his Alice from way back in the day that he couldn't get back there and put his Alice in his wonderland. And that's what y'all got to understand. To us, she's Margie Harvey. To Steve, she's the Alice in his wonderland. Y'all comment down below and let me know what you think about this topic, man. I look forward to hearing what you mean have to say. I'm out. Trying to become the most ever version of you. To become the most ever version of you, striving to become.